हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूटन्स बैकवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन मेथड नाउ आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द न्यूटन्स फॉरवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन मेथड सम ऑफ द स्टेप्स एंड प्रोसीडिंग्स ऑफ दिस मेथड रिमेन सेम एज दैट ऑफ द फॉरवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन मेथड बट देर आर स्लाइट डिफरेंसेज विच वी विल गेट टू नो एज द वीडियो प्रोसीड्स नाउ एज यू कैन सी Uh, to solve problems using the newton's backward interpolation method we need to follow three steps which are same as that of the newton's forward interpolation method the first step is we need to find the value of h the second step is we need to find the value of s and the third step is calculate the value of fx or yx given is the value of x and we need to find is the value of fx or yx both are same now what is h what is s and what are fx or yx that have been discussed in my previous video but then also i will discuss them in this video once again now what is h h is the distance between two consecutive values of f x now a table will be given containing x values of x and values of y or fx now the distance between two consecutive values of x will be the value of h now the value of s what is s if you can recollect in newton's forward interpolation method i had mentioned the value of s is equal to x Minus x zero by h, where x is the given value of x for which we have to find the value of f x or y x. X zero is the first term in the column containing the values of x, and h is the distance between two consecutive values of x. Now, in case of Newton's backward interpolation method, there will be a slight change in the formula. the formula will be s equals to x minus x n by h now what is x n x n is the last term the last term in the column containing the values of x in newton's forward interpolation method we used the first term and in this newton's backward interpolation method we will use the last terms same will be the case for y del y del square y del q y and so on in newton's forward interpolation method we always use the first terms of every column and in newton's backward interpolation method we will use the last terms in every column so now let us see what is the formula for finding the value of fx or yx fx or yx that is equal to yn the last term in the column containing the values of y plus s into del of yn plus s into now in case of newton's forward interpolation method we use the formula s into s minus 1 by 2 factorial into del square yn but here we will use the formula s into s plus 1 by 2 factorial into del square yn again plus s into in newton's forward interpolation we used s minus 1 into s minus 2 by 3 factorial into del cube yn but here we will use s into s plus 1 and s into into s plus 2 by 3 factorial into del cube yn and so on so the minuses in the newton's forward interpolation method will change to plus in newton's backward interpolation method and the y zeros will change into y ns y n del y n del square y n and so on now let us look at an example 
to make the concept more clear the example here given is x the values of x are 2 2.1 2.2 and 2.3 the values of y are 1.7314 1.7811 1.8219 and 1.8535 now we have to find the value of y for x equals to 2.28 so since there are four elements in the columns we will construct three columns namely del y del square y and del cube y why because there are four elements so the power of the maximum power of y del y will be cube that is n n is the number of elements minus 1 so 4 minus 1 that is 3 so del y del square y and del cube y now we will fill up the columns for del y the first term will be 0.0497 that is 1.7811 minus 1.7314 the second term will be 1.8219 minus 1.7811 that is 0.0408 the third term will be 1.8535 minus 1.8219 that is 0.0316 now let us move on to the del square y column the first term will be 0.0408 minus 0.0497 that is equal to minus 0.0089 minus 0.0089 the second term will be 0.0316 minus 0.0408 that is minus 0.0092 and the last column del cube y the term that will be written is minus of 0.0092 minus minus 0.0089 that is minus 0.0092 plus 0.0089 that is equal to minus of 0.0003 so now we will proceed with the sum first we will calculate the value of h h is equals to 2.1 minus 2 that is 0.1 this is the first step the second step will be we will calculate the value of s s equals to x minus x n by h that is equals to 2.28 since the value of x is 2.28 2.28 minus the value of xn is 2.3 so minus 2.30 divided by h the value of h is 0.1 that is equal to minus of 0.2 now the third and the final step that will be y of 2.28 that is approximately equal to yn that is 1.8535 plus s into del yn that is minus 0.2 into 0.0316 plus s into s plus 1 divided by 2 factorial into del square yn plus s into s plus 1 into s plus 
डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री फैक्टोरियल इन टू डेल क्यूब वाई एन सो दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट एट फोर सिक्स फोर फाइव जीरो फोर और वी कैन राउंड इट अप एंड राइट एज वन पॉइंट एट फोर सिक्स फोर सो फाइनली आवर वाई वाई टू पॉइंट टू एट इज इक्वल्स टू वन सॉरी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट एट फोर सिक्स फोर नाउ वी आर फेमिलियर विथ बोथ द न्यूटन्स फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन मेथड्स द बिग क्वेश्चन दैट अराइजेज is where to use them now if you can understand the difference between these two tables then you will easily get your answer if you look carefully in this table you will see that the values of x are in equidistant intervals see the value of h for these two values of x is one for these two values it is again one and for these two values it is again one so they are equidistant from each other but in this table if you calculate the value of h for each consecutive terms you will see for the first two terms it's 2 for the second two terms it's 1 and for the last two terms it's 3 so they are not equidistant from each other now the newton's forward and backward interpolation methods can only be used if the values of x are equidistant from each other now this is a very important statement the newton's forward and backward interpolation methods can only be used for equidistant values of x this is very important always keep this in mind before solving problems using the newton's forward or backward interpolation method thank you